There exists a place on the edge of regulation, a city said by some to be a haven for crypto. Its existence is not a secret, but it remains overlooked by many who could stand to gain from its presence. Have you heard of this place? Chances are probably not, so let's tell you. The city we're talking about is Busan City. It's South Korea's second largest city after the capital, Seoul. And in a country where authorities are tightening their scrutiny over crypto, it's somewhere that might just have been overlooked. In 2019, then President Moon Jae-in designated Busan as a special blockchain zone. The idea was that it would exist outside of the rest of Korea's regulations on the sector. Developers were supposed to be able to work on projects that would otherwise be off limits. If it sounds idyllic, that's the point, right? The problem is, things haven't exactly been going to plan. In a recent survey conducted by Busan's Chamber of Commerce, almost 50% of blockchain companies in South Korea said they were unaware of Busan's regulation-free status. Meanwhile, 43% said they didn't see a competitive advantage to operating in the city, at least compared to Seoul. Is that about to change though? Well, Busan has recently sealed agreements with crypto exchanges Binance and FTX. Those agreements will see the city create its own digital asset exchange. What will it look like? Will it be a game changer? Is this the next step in Busan securing its place at the heart of crypto innovation? Forecast Danny Park is here to take a look for you. It was July last year when the city of Busan announced its plan to build its own platform for digital asset transactions. But the plan is looking more concrete recently with the city signing a Memorandum of Understanding or MOU between three cryptocurrency exchanges with Binance and FTX last month and with Huobi Global just this week. The MOU entails that the exchanges will help the city to promote the growth of the blockchain ecosystem and the development of the Busan Digital Asset Exchange. In a statement, Mayor Park Hyung-jun said the agreements will secure new growth engines for the local economy and make it a global digital financial hub city. Meanwhile, speaking to Forecast, Leon Fung of Binance said the partnership with the South Korean city will have positive outcome for the industry. I think our vision is very much aligned, which is how can we use the technology, which is blockchain, uh, digital ledgers, to actually improve economic outcomes, right? That was the very fundamental of it. Busan's vision for this global exchange and our kind of core belief in the importance of global liquidity really led to the genesis of this partnership. Fung also details the three key pillars of their partnership with the city. The first one is really giving technical and uh, expert uh, fees on how to actually build out a global digital asset exchange. Right? When it comes to building out a global digital asset exchange <laughs> that Busan obviously has ambitions to build out, the second is education. Uh, we really want to work closely you know, with the mayor's office uh, to really build out a world-class uh, Binance Academy Center. Right? This will comprise of both kind of offline and online classes that can really bring the benefits of digital assets and blockchain education to the people in Korea. And then the third piece really revolves around what we call blockchain for good, right? Which is how can we encourage more people to actually start building new innovative business models, right? New enterprises on the blockchain. Uh, Binance, you know, we're very closely associated with the kind of layer one uh, decentralized uh, blockchain called the BNB chain. So we want to encourage more ecosystem development. And the first step of that is really supporting the Busan Blockchain Week that will be uh, taking place towards the end of October. So why develop digital asset exchange in Busan and not in the capital city, Seoul? Fung said that while Busan is more known as a tourist destination, the city is more than that. Busan has a population size of 3.5 million people. The people there are hardworking, they have a great work ethic, and they are entrepreneurial. What this means is there's a huge potential for Busan to really contribute to the economic development, not just in the city of Busan, 
but also in the country as a whole. Right? We do not want Busan to just be seen as a popular destination for tourists. Right? But beyond that, in terms of moving into the new industry, it actually has a lot of potential. We've really seen the Korean Stock Exchange uh, being set up in Busan. Fung added that the city's destination as a blockchain regulatory free zone is a game changer. We actually take a, a very long term view on regulations. Right? Ultimately, when people ask, why is it important for crypto and digital assets to be regulated? You know, our view is to always look at it from a customer first perspective. So for the consumers who want to have access to digital assets, who want to have access to global liquidity, this you know, so-called digital asset free trade zone uh, is and can be a game changer. Because number one, what it allows us to do is actually to have open dialogue uh, with not just Busan City, but also the key financial regulators to really understand what does user protection actually mean and how can this actually be implemented. So will Busan and South Korea solidify its position as a blockchain and crypto hub soon with the agreements signed with Binance, FTX and Huobi Global? Forecast will be keeping watch. In Seoul, South Korea, I'm Danny Park, Forecast. Alright, that's it from us for this episode. Like and subscribe to the video for more content like it and let us know your thoughts on what is happening in crypto down below in the comments.